welcome to Super Test for our flammable refrigerant demonstration. The purpose of this test is to show in a practical way the different flammability properties of different classes of refrigerants that we see in the automotive market. We have three types of refrigerants. We have a cylinder of R134A, which is a class A1 non-flammable refrigerant. We have a cylinder of R1234YF, which is a class A2L flammable refrigerant. And we have a hydrocarbon refrigerant, which is a class A3 highly flammable refrigerant. Okay, the first stage of the demonstration will be to see if we can ignite R1234YF, A2L refrigerant. So we will just gently open our cylinder, face our torch away from the cylinder, open our blow torch tap. We've got nice flow of refrigerant coming out of the end of the torch. And I've just got a common flint ignition source commonly found in all workshops and you can't see really any flame propagating there at all. You can very, very, if you look closely, there is a very, very mild ignition occurring in the back of the torch there, but not every time. But certainly it will not support a decent flame. If I increase the velocity, I've still got nothing. So as you can see, the class A2L uh, will, not, will not ignite at all. Now the second stage of our demonstration is the HC refrigerant, class A3. So we will open the liquid valve, open our blowtorch tap, our ignition source, and as you can see, <coughs> it ignites immediately. Without any, uh, without any complications at all. So in regard to the R134A refrigerant, Class A1, we all know it's classified as non-flammable and actually we're not going to attempt to ignite it because to do so we would have to connect the blowtorch to the valve and we would have to emit some of the refrigerant to the atmosphere which most of you would realise is against the law in Australia so I think it's a given principle that the A1 won't ignite and uh, it's pretty safe to use. So as you can see our demonstration has shown the extreme difference in flammability properties between a class A2L refrigerant and a class A3. We did a practical demonstration. We, we're not claiming this to be a scientific exercise at all, but it does explain and show in a very, very clear way that a common ignition source that's found in and around motor cars, in and around the workplace, can easily ignite a hydrocarbon uh, refrigerant. It will not ignite a a class A2L refrigerant. We've also shown that not all flammable refrigerants are made equal. Most of you who have cylinders arriving at your workshops will see that the cylinders still have the flammable red diamond on, on them. But obviously the, the point here is to really take notice of the different classifications. There are different degrees of flammability and this is a very, very important point. So apart from the practical demonstration, if we look at the data sheets for Class A2L refrigerants and Class A3 refrigerants, you will see that it is 5,000 times more difficult to ignite a Class A2L substance than the Class A3. So workshop staff should take great care and caution whenever there is a Class A3 flammable substance, particularly in the form of a refrigerant, in their workshop because there are numerous ignition sources, as you can see by the demonstration, that are capable of igniting this substance.